Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to discuss about the isometric top and front view of the pentagon. So first of all you have to draw the pentagon. So in the given question the pentagon is of size 30 mm. So first let's make a pentagon over here. So first draw a simple line 30 mm. So then make a line at an angle of 108 degree. You know that the internal angle of the pentagon is 108 and exterior angle is 72. Then again you make a line at an angle of 108 that is again 30 mm then you open your compass and open your compass at a distance of a 30 mm and put your steel part of the compass over here and the pencil part over here and make an arc like this okay and again now you put your compass over here and put your pencil part over here and make arc over here like that okay so now we are going to join the intersection of these arcs so this becomes your pentagon okay so now the next step in the isometric topic first you have to enclose this pentagon in between a rectangle okay so you can see that this is a nomenclature now put your this pentagon in between a rectangle so make a line over here like this and then make this line <coughs> then make this line and make this line so you know that this become a type of a rectangle over here now take a nomenclature over here and take the dimensions of both the sides now next step is to make the top view so now we are going to make a top view of the pentagon make any point from p q r s over here so let us suppose this point is p okay so now i put my point here and i'm going to make a rectangle now and rectangle you know that this is a p line and this is a pq line this is a pq line i make a line at this one and the angle of this line with reference size is exactly 30 degree because in the isometric topic you always have to rotate your figure at an angle of 30 degree so this is pq line is a 30 again you have to take a line so this is a pq line now this is a ps line again this angle is 30 degree now complete your rectangle so you can see that this is sr line and this is a qr line so in this way you have to rotate your rectangle at an angle of 30 degree because in the isometric you will always take an angle 30 degree now in between this rectangle i'm going to make my pentagon okay so take a dimensions from here you know that the p and a distance you should know this p a distance once you take this distance come over here and open your compass put your steel part of the compass over here and pencil part over here and make an arc and this length is again pa whatever the distance is this one this is again this this distance pa okay in the same way you have to locate all the points a b c d e on this rectangle according to this figure okay now see this distance that bq okay so this distance is always is equal to pa because this is a regular pentagon so again open your compass and take your this distance and put your steel part over here and pencil part over here and make an arc like this so this point is b okay in the same way take this distance qc and from qc again open your compass and put your steel part of the compass on the q and open your compass up to this distance which is qc this is 38 mm and make an arc like this okay and this point is c in the same way you locate this p e point you know that whatever the q c that is again p e so again this is a p e point in the same way this d point you know that all d is always a midpoint of this line sr so open your compass accordingly and make an arc over here now you are just going to join these points like this a b and bc cd and de and ae so you understand that this is a top view of my pentagon and this is an isometric top view which is rotated at an angle of 30 degree now i'm going to make a front view okay so now again for the front view first make a reference line and select your one point let us suppose this is a point p and make a line exactly at an angle of 30 degree and that's it make this line pq okay so this pq line i'll take this pq line at an angle of 30 degree now instead of 30 degree line which is in the top view now i'm going to make a line exactly at the 90 degree over here so this is a 90 degree line this is a 90 degree line now 
because you are not going to make a top view but you are going to make a front view of this one so now this is ps let us suppose this is ps so again you have to complete your rectangle accordingly and again you are going to make this pentagon exactly in this in between this rectangle so again this is pa point you know that pa distance is 12.4 and i'll open my compass and put my steel part over here and pencil part over here and mark an arc which is pa in the same way qb and in the same way we have qc and in the same way we have pe and last point which is at the line sr which is d point so this is a d point again you have to join these things a b b c c d d e and e a so you know understand these are the things so this is my top view and this is a front view in the isometric topic so this is isometric top view so this is isometric front view only one thing important is first you have to draw a top view of orthographic projection of your pentagon over here this is orthographic projection from the top view okay so you can understand this is orthographic view and then i enclose this my orthographic view of the pentagon in between a rectangle then first of all you rotate your rectangle at an angle of 30 degree then in between you have to take a distances and put your pentagon in between that rectangle so that becomes your top view and this becomes your front view i hope you understand thank you everyone